Hey everybody, that's what Wanda would say. So, I'm making a video that I hoped I would never really have to make. Wanda's the video person. We're not really, yeah, she wanted to do the videos in the very beginning to kind of document her journey and of hope of helping people as they go through theirs. And that's Wanda's character. She's always wanting to help people. So um, this is a personal update. It's a difficult video to make. This is about the fourth or the fifth one that I've made. So if I seem very composed, it's because <laughs> I'm not. I'm a little bit rehearsed, but not composed. <clears throat> and I don't have a script. But real life doesn't really provide one. On the Wednesday, the 16th, we checked in the hospice. Wanda was going to do the other treatment. She decided not to do it. It would have increased her pain level. Um, they would not have extended her life. There were several other factors for not continuing the treatment. The previous treatments did not work, as she mentioned in the video prior to this. And uh, today is uh, Thursday the 24th. We're in a hospice facility in Scottsdale. It's a very good one. It's only a 12-bed facility. And 24-hour care, 24-hour access, for family members, visitors, it's open door. Well, open door in the sense that um, they allow visitors to come. Uh, there is security system, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm glad we chose this facility. I've got to know some of the staff pretty well. They've come in and had conversations with me. They seem to be very caring. And they have taken great care of Wanda. As of today, or actually about three days ago, she stopped eating, drinking, and responding. Family members were here. They all came down. Some came from Washington State, um, Nevada. One's coming in from um, Nebraska. That's the last one to be here. The rest of them, we've done FaceTime or video chat, phone chats had family members call and just speak to her on the phone, talk to her. And there's, I'm sure there are friends that I wasn't, I, I, I did not notify. We had members from our Mishpaka or our church family <coughs> come and visit. Then we stopped the visitations, or at least I did, to just try to focus on the family time. And I'm glad I did that, because that was a rough time for family. Um, the oldest son has four kids a wife and the youngest one has one and with another one coming and so yeah just trying to process all that to see that grandma won't be waking up to come and visit them or grandma may not be getting better and <clears throat> one of the little ones said grandpa uh, is grandma going to get well and so I use the analogy of, uh, you know, when you're not feeling good, sometimes you take a nap and you wake up and you feel better. She says, yeah. I said, well, grandma's going to take a nap. She's going to go to sleep, but she's going to wake up someplace else. She says, oh, okay. And I later on asked Joshua if that was all right that I said that. And he said, yeah, that was fine. And uh, he said it good explanation and I know they're talking to their you know the kids and everything also so here we are at this place Wanda's journey her journey will continue it won't stop here but there probably won't be videos documenting her journey at least that I'm aware of unless she's healed or resurrected this is the complicated part. Wanda asked me about three weeks ago. She says, so if I die, you're going to pray that I'm resurrected? And I said, of course. 
And then she says, no, I'm not talking about end of days resurrection. I said, okay. She says, right then and there, you're going to pray that God resurrects me. <laughs> well, yeah, put a load on my shoulders, babe. So I said, let me think about it. And then I thought about it. And I realized it's not a load on my shoulders because I'm not doing the resurrection. I'm not doing it. I'm only asking. And if I don't ask. So I figured, I came back to her and said, yeah, I'll ask. And I'll leave the rest up to him. And if that happens where I ask and she's resurrected, I might be one of the ones to run out of the building. No, not really. Um, sometimes our faith can be tested in times like this. I mean, really, really tested. And I've seen her faith tested where she would ask questions and she would ask why. And it would be these conflict conversations. And we get into conversations and she just felt like, am I unfaithful? And it, it it's complicated. It's going to take more than one video to kind of get into some of the dialogue that we had back and forth and maybe I even won't do it on a video maybe it's just too personal but regardless guys I just wanted to give you an update and say hey thanks for supporting Wanda's journey to be cancer free thank you I will keep updating uh, we will have a celebration of life whether she lives or she lives at another time I will have a celebration of life service in Arizona, and then there will be one in Washington State where she will be buried. Um, so that's it. That's all for now. Uh, thank you. Love you guys. Shalom.